everybody, Nintendo is back here with another video, and today I will be seeing if this $150 Nintendo 3DS I bought off of eBay is worth it. So let's okay, find so I got out. the 3DS right here. I just got it from the mailbox. And let's see, well, is it worth it? I kind of got to uh, hide the shipping address. Jeez. And there it is. Here is the charger. I already have like probably six or seven or eight or nine of these. But that's weird to see. Uh, this charger has the USB cable. Wow, that's weird. And now the one of truth, the 3DS itself. Wow, I can already see it in there. Let's go ahead and open it. Wow, this is incredible. There it is, there's the 3DS. All right, we got our X, Y, V, and A buttons. They work really good. Circle pad, you can see the circle pad is a little bit, see that edge right there is a little bit curved. For some reason. We got our D-pad, select home start buttons. We got our shoulder buttons. There is a stylus included, as you can see. And I, it has these Japanese letters on the back, but it is a USA uh, 3DS. So here, for example, I've got my Aqua Blue 3DS, as you know, right here for comparison. Wow. The difference on the circle pads is pretty different, you know? But, no, it's not your time to shine Aqua Blue 3DS. We're trying to focus on this. Anyways, you can see that there is some scratches on the bottom screen of the 3DS. Well, yeah. Anyways, we got our wireless slide. We got our SD card, which came with a 64 gigabyte SD card. As you can see, this is 64 gigabytes. You can see right there. Go ahead and put that back into the 3DS. Then we've got our volume slide and our 3D slider. So let's power it up for the first time. It does have power for some reason. It's taking a while. And look at that. It is in. And apparently, I didn't even know this, it came with all these games. And it actually has homebrew on it. That's actually kind of, I think that's how they region locked it, unregion locked it. So, see, we've got all of these things. And all the games we have Pokemon Silver version, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Blue. Red, Stretch Mode Nintendo, Happy Home Designer, Whoa. Tetris, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater, Cave Story, Crash Mode, Shantae, Wait for it. Let's just the Majora's Mask, what? Push Mode, Resident Evil, Super Mario 3D Land, Resident Evil, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Whoa, did it again. Mother 3, WarioWare, Animal Crossing New Leaf, and Monster Hunter Generations. Now, the real question is this even worth it? For the fact that I didn't realize that it had all these games, it's in its homebrew, as you can see. This is worth it. But we do have to test out a game, so let me go get a game real quick because right, I'm back and I have Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS, so we're gonna pop it in and see if it works. And the game does come up.
it is gonna take a while to load, but wow, this is really cool. And yes, it will be replacing my Apple Pro 3DS. No, I'm not gonna update it right now. Sadly, I have to update it because I got no choice. Anyways, yeah. Is it worth it? I'd say it is. Should you buy eBay 3DSs? Sure, but for $144, which was, it was technically $150, I'd say it's worth it. Started? Huh? And there you go, Super Smash Bros. Loads. And just like that. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video of me previewing this 3DS. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.